in the background. Hello, everyone. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> such a hot star. It is Benice here, your community outreach specialist and PIO for the Pasco Sheriff's Office. And today I am bringing you a simple video. It's simple, but really weighted because Deputy Christopher Stone is back working at the agency. He was injured not too long ago, boom. And he just did an actual press conference uh, earlier today, but you guys know, who would I be if I didn't grab him and do what I'm told to get you guys a video too? So we're kind of going to talk about the same stuff, I guess, or whatever pops up into my head. I'll stop rambling. Say hey. Are you happy? Hi, everyone. Yeah. Yes, happy to be back to work and uh, back bit. to yeah. my normal uh, everyday life, mm -hmm. per se. For the people that don't know you, who are you? Who are you? I'm Deputy Stone. I'm a canine handler. But wh you know? what, who's your canine? Oh, uh, I have canine JR. Oh, that's who I have. that beautiful boy. Insert clip here. You're welcome. Good for the camera. There you go. Good for the camera. Stay. There you go, ham. You're, I know you're happy to be back. Very glad. Very happy. Mm -hmm. Not to, that was a loaded question. But it's okay. We're gonna leave this in. Because this is just the reality of the this situation. Is what happens. This is what happens. We are constantly okay. working. But, not to ask you a loaded question, but you are, you're happy to be back. Glad to get back into a regular routine of work and whatnot. What was JR doing throughout this whole time? He was being lazy. Yeah, was he? He was being lazy. Right by your side? Yeah, well, sometimes right by my side. He but was like, he's, eh. he's So we use very high drive dogs. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes the high drive dogs make mm -hmm. great work dogs, mm -hmm. but not so much great house pets because they're high drive. Okay. They always want something sense. to do. So there were times he was being lazy and mm -hmm. then there were times he was being very annoying. Let's go, let's go. Because let's go, he, let's wanted go. Yeah. Go, he wanted to go back to mm -hmm. work. Oh, but that's He wanted that's... to be out doing it. It's like a best of the both worlds, you know? I feel like it hypes you up a bit more, makes you eh, kind of maybe aggravating. You want to get back to work even quicker. Yeah, too. Right. Yeah, but you, I feel like you were back pretty quick. This happened. So for those of you that don't know what happened, uh, you want to just break it down real So on, on June 8th, um, we had a domestic violence call uh, down in the Seven Springs area. And during that call, uh, we were trying to arrest the suspect and he ended up ambushing us inside the house and I was shot with an AK-47 in my leg. Um, ended up doing some damage and completely severing my femoral artery and vein. Uh, so they had to go in and, and harvest a, a vein from one of my legs to repair the artery. Um, ended up with some blood clots in my leg, so they had to, they had to take those out. Um, spent a few days in ICU and then um, physical therapy from then on out, um, just working at it so I can get back to work. And how, so you said June 8th, today is August 22nd, about two and a half months? Roughly, I yeah. actually, I came back to work on, on the 12th of August. So. Was it incredible? Which part? Coming back to work? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, appreciate that. so uh, just to, I mean, if you guys, I will link below the press conference if you want to watch that in its entirety. It's absolutely incredible that you are back at work, that you, you're walking, you're walking, you know, running, exactly. climbing, jumping fences, everything still that I was doing Still going on calls, before. still going on tracks. All of it. Exactly. You still are just as capable as you were beforehand, didn't stop you. Not right. Right. No. Did you, would you approach the situation any differently? Of course not. Mm -hmm. I still had, and to this time, I've been on calls where I've mm -hmm. gone through the doors and and been inside and just handled business like, like, like I did you before have to. June 8th. Yeah, this is what you signed up to do and you still love it? I still love it. You still love it. I'm trying to think, what else? You know what? Watching the BWC video, you guys have seen a shortened version of it. You have not seen the full graphic nature of the actual BWC, but there is a tourniquet that is used in that video. And recently we have started putting in the high schools and middle schools stop the bleed kits, which are literally meant for situations like these. Just like this. It just talks, it goes to show the importance of training those that are younger because you, God forbid something happens, but they have the knowledge to prep themselves. And our deputies were incredible. In that video, 
the neighbor? Bill. Ricky? Yep. Bill Ricky. He was incredible too. I feel like I'm kind of jumping all over the place, but that's how my brain works. The, the tourniquet, so definitely the tourniquet, um, quick clot. They, they actually, fire rescue actually used quick clot when we were in the okay. ambulance. Um, pack pack mm -hmm. the uh, the bullet hole with 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 the uh, sorry quick, quick clot, quick um, clot. But that was after the tourniquet was applied. So about you end up with with a, a severe bleed. You got mm -hmm. about three to five minutes mm -hmm. to, to survive mm -hmm. before you end up bleeding out or, or getting to the point where you lose too much blood for your body to compensate for it. So it was about a little more than three minutes okay. um, from the time I got shot until the time the tourniquet was applied. Okay. And so we all carry tourniquets on us. Mm -hmm. um, Every the vehicle. Deputies that were out there, um, one of them, they, once they found out where I was shot, they got that tourniquet on quickly. They got it we'll nice and up high. Nice and tight, which which slowed the bleeding down mm -hmm. a lot. Um, That's and what then, it's intended to do. That is exactly. the purpose. Stop stopping stop the, bleed. the bleed. Stop the bleed. So, and then in the ambulance, they applied the the quick clot, mm -hmm. which helped out that much more. Mm -hmm. And then once got to you know we got to bayonet point, it was straight into surgery, and the uh, trauma doctors did their thing. He's a wicked scar. Yes. A really wicked scar. A couple of them. Yeah, a couple, a couple of really wicked skies. What, uh, what is the, your favorite thing about being back at work? Other than going back to a normal routine. Give us the goods. This is a video with me. Give us the goods. Uh, so to me, I, I like being back with everybody. Okay. I, I missed everybody. Aw, um, that's so sweet. <laughs> you know, I mean, these are people that I, I work with, I mm -hmm. spend a lot of time with. Yep. Um, some of which we just got done with running a patrol school. So, okay. You know, we, we just went through 17 weeks mm -hmm. together, working it's together, training it's together. Close yes, tight. yes, and and I like I like working the dog. Mm -hmm. it, that's fun. Yeah. I, I like I, I get to play hide and seek professional. Exactly, exactly. It's it's fun. That's how you make your living. That's it. I love that. That's awesome. So I think that's kind of wraps it up. Yeah, I just you know I want to say thank you, you to everybody out there that that supported us. Mm -hmm. um, the, the sheriff's office was wonderful. The community was wonderful. The community was more than wonderful. I, I can't thank people enough. You guys came in full enough. support. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, friends and family got me through everything, and it, it, was, it was awesome. Yeah. yeah. What you guys may have heard earlier in the press conference, but if you haven't already seen it, what was the ironic fact that you mentioned earlier? About oh, your family. You're talking, okay, yeah. so. Which I think is. I think it's weird. Ironically, weird. so I, I come from a long line of law enforcement officers. Me too. Um, yes. So my, my grandfather and my father, uh, uh, my mother, cool. my mother um, was in law enforcement. Both mother and father worked here at the Pasco Sheriff's Office. Pasco Pad. Uh, my wife is a law enforcement mm -hmm. officer. Mm -hmm. So. Um, Ironically, back in the 1980s, mm -hmm. when my father worked for the sheriff's office, uh, he was on a SWAT call mm -hmm. and he was shot. Was it by chance the same area, or like in? His it was life? in Holiday. No, 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 no. Uh, okay. uh, he he actually he was shot in the head. Yes. That was a he has a heart initial head. reaction. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> He'll appreciate it. I don't know what just happened. We're just doing video, sir. Come on in. <laughs> Corporal Madden, you have to. You've made such a... Guys, that was Corporal Madden, and this is just sometimes what it's like in our office. This is what it's like. So we're going to go ahead and wrap up the video. So happy, thankful, blessings to God. I believe that you are back to all that were involved that helped out to get him back on the road. Everyone at the hospital, community, supporters, PSO fam, your fam, friends. He literally already just said all of this, but I just felt it again to say it to everyone. But thanks for giving us a couple of minutes. Absolutely. Yeah. Where's the puppy? I know someone's going to ask in the description, where's the puppy? So right now he's out mm -hmm. in the car. We had him out earlier because of the press conference. But he's cuckoo and, um, for so Cocoa Puffs. He is a little spastic. <laughs> Very spastic. Cuckoo. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Boom. So, which so, makes him a great work dog. Exactly. Yeah. That's what right. you need. High drive. Very yes. High, High drive. drive. Okay, so if you guys haven't already done so, like the video, comment if you'd like, subscribe. If you'd like, no pressure. Um, you'd like. You would like. For those of you on Facebook, you can't do that, but you can head on over to YouTube to do so, and we will see you guys next time. And be sure to comment below and wish this, guys a, wish this guy a happy 
road yeah. work. Abbey Road. What? 